Alright, what's up YouTube? So, doing a little tutorial quickly for you modelers out there for Blender. How to link your animations so that you can play multiple animations. And I'm just going to show real quickly how I'm doing my animations. So, I'm in Blender. I'm in the Animations tab. And um, if you go down here to this window, you're going to click here and you're going to do nonlinear animation. I'm already in the nonlinear animation, but this is the window that you want to have right here. Um, this is the only way I know how to do it. Um, anyways, you can see I have a current animation here with the monster. And I have the keyframes. You can see the keyframes are here. I'm going to show how I do the keyframes. Um, so I have my old man right here and I'm gonna animate him real quick so right now these are his locations so I'm just gonna set these locations and I can see on my timeline I'm starting at zero I also set my timeline up uh, with uh, a little differently let me see if I can show it here um, so you can see right here in this rendering tab I think that's what it is I start my frame at zero right here and I have my end frame at 240 and the step is one. So the 240 gives me seconds. Um, 24 frames per second gives me 10 seconds with 240 frames and you want to set it to zero. You want your animation to start at zero. So this is important here. And what you can do is go to view and you can go to um, where is it? Show seconds, this tab right here. So you want to click that. So it starts like this, just with the frames, the frame number. And then I just always do show seconds. Um, and I do my keyframes. You can set up your keyframes however you want right here. I have them set at like two seconds. So you can see I switch my keyframes. So real quickly, the old man here. So he starts right here. I'm just going to have him start right here. So what I do is I hover over the location. Now, depending on what I want to change, it, whether it's his, his rotation or his location or even the size of him, I can set the keyframes for these dimensions. So what you do is you hover, right now I'll just do the location. So I'll just have him move. The way I do that is I hover over and I push I on my keypad. Okay, so that sets a keyframe. So right now he's set in place at zero, zero time, right? So if I go, you can see he doesn't do anything. Okay, so... And you can see here, here, this is highlighted. So this is the the man, old man right here. So I'm going to have him move. So I just go two seconds here and I can just have him move right here. So uh, you can set this up however you want. I'm going to do as simple as I can. So I'm going to have him move on the x-axis. Let's put him at four. And then on the y-axis, I'm going to move him to two. And the Z I'll keep the same. Um, let's change this to uh, negative two, maybe. Negative two, okay. And then I'm gonna set the keyframe. I just hover over this and I push I. And it sets the location keyframe and you can see it just locked him in right here. So now you can see he moves to the next keyframe. So now I go another two seconds. Let's move him again. We're gonna go up here and set the keyframe. Let's do uh, negative four maybe. On the X, we'll do mm, negative 5 on the Y. That looks good. And then we're going to hover over it. And to set the keyframe, we just put I on our keypad. Just push I. That's the easiest way. And so you can see now he's moving. And then we'll do another two seconds. Let's just do him. Let's put him at uh, Y equals 5. And then we're going to just click off of it so it sets it now you push i okay and now he's moving there and now we'll have him go another two seconds and then you can do rotation you can do the scale you can set your keyframes wherever you want him to do i'm going to move him again um, let's go on the x-axis let's go four and he moves up and then we just push i to set the keyframe and then we're going to have him move right back. Uh, let's have him just go right to the center. So 
I'm gonna set the keyframe zero and zero. And now he just goes to zero and we push I to set back keyframe. Okay, so now we have an animation. You can see him move moving. Okay, so now that's how I'm doing my animations. So now you can see right here we have we have to link them. Okay, so if we export this GTLF, it's only going to play the first animation of the monster. It's not going to play the old man. So the, the way that we solve that issue is we come over here to this uh, nonlinear tab, right? We're a nonlinear animation. This button right here, we're going to open this. And you can see right here it says NI track. And we're going to open this one, and you can see NI track. So it's, um, the, I don't know what that means, but the way that we link it, we just give it a name. So we're going to get, call it A, and then we go down here, and we're just going to call it A. And now they're going to be linked. Okay, so now we can export it just like you would, and now they will play together in your um, animation. Okay, so... This part's important. Um, I know a lot of people have issues with this. So also, once you link it, you notice I click on here. I can't change the animation. So the way that we can solve that problem is you right click and you can do start editing. And now you can see that it opens this up and you can edit it. But the only way that you can do that is you have to click that star. And now you can see we have access to our keyframes right here. Okay, so that's a little trick that will help you. Because um, if you don't do this in this order, in this way, uh, it, it locks up, it doesn't work. So um, that should be everything you can see here. If I click on the monster now, it goes right here, it highlights here. And if I wanna change this, I can click on it. Remember we do right click, start editing and we have to click this star to get access i don't know why it's like that but that's how it works and then you can access so now you can change your keyframe so we can do a rotation we can change we can do whatever we want here but um that's it so linking them now export it and you should be good to go so give that a try